Today we will introduce how to create a matrix chart, which splits information across rows and columns in a grid format. It is a powerful comparative tool, which provides a quick glance of trends over time. Matrix charts are a great way to identify patterns in your data quickly. By comparing the size or frequency of chart segments, you can immediately determine which values are the most important or need the most attention, allowing you to investigate the circumstances at play and discover their root causes. Looking at multiple charts at the same time lets you identify any differences between them, which can reveal the variables affecting that data. You can make a matrix chart from most chart types, including bar charts, pie charts, line charts, and scatter plots, but not from maps, 3D charts, and some of the special and HTML5 chart types, like funnel charts, tree maps, and tag clouds. Begin by creating a simple chart. Next, choose the fields that you want to use for the matrix rows and columns. These fields can include those already in the chart, but may lead to some repetitive information. To add matrix rows, drag a field into the rows field container. Each value in that field becomes a row in the matrix. To add matrix columns, drag a field into the columns field container. A matrix chart can just have rows or columns, but a true matrix chart requires both for cross-comparison. A version of your chart will be created for each intersection. Here our rows represent customer country, and our columns represent sale year. So if we look where the 2013 column at Australia row intersect, we can see sales to Australian customers in 2013. Intersections with no data are blank. Here we see that there were no sales to Argentinian, Australian, or Austrian customers in 2012. A quick glance suggests that the Australian customers tended to buy more media players in 2013, but preferred stereo systems from 2014 onward. Try different options to see what setup is best for you. For example, switch from pie charts to bar charts to see the totals for your data instead of just the proportions. You can also add multiple fields to the matrix field containers to give your chart some more complexity. For instance, you can drag sale quarter under sale year in the columns field container to see charts for each quarter of each year. To learn more, visit the WebFocus 8205 knowledge base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.